Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out how to create a candy spiral in After Effects. We're going to create a new composition. Click on new composition. I'm going to rename it this lines. I'm going to go with 1920 by 406. Eight seconds black background. Click OK. Select the pen tool and I'm going to click here on the fill text. Click on none. Click OK and click here on the stroke text and select the solid color. Click OK and I'm going to create my first line here. Press and hold shift. Go all the way to the end. I gotta go with uh, the stroke thickness is gonna be for me like 59. I'm gonna arrange, align it to the center and I'm gonna put this somewhere on the bottom. I'm gonna go to the shape, press Control D and I'm gonna press and hold Shift and drag it up. I'm gonna recolor this, I'm gonna click on the stroke. I'm gonna select the color, Control D again. I'm going to select all of it and go to the distribute vertically. So the main idea is to have the same exact distance in between. So as you can see here, we got like a bigger distance. So I'm going to try to rearrange it. And it's going to look something like this. Good. Create a new composition here and I'm going to rename this as a line pattern. I'm going to work with the width is going to be 3000 and the height 1920. Click enter. Actually, I'm going to rename this comp rename. I forgot line pattern. I'm going to drag the lines in. I'm going to press the letter R for rotate. I'm going to type in 90 degrees and I'm going to position it to the left. I'm going to go to the effects and presets. I'm going to type in rip. So this is the CC repeat tile. I'm going to drag and drop to the lines. And I'm going to increase the extend up. And it's going to work something like this. And extend it all the way. I'm going to go some around 6000. Go to the lines. Press the letter P for position. I'm going to start the stopwatch activated. And I'm going to go all the way to the end, to the 8 second. And press and hold shift to drag it to the left. So if you drag it back, it's going to start animating. Go to the project. I'm going to right click, new comp. I'm going to type in donut. I can, and I'm going to work with width and height 3000. Something like this. I'm going to drag in the line pattern. And I'm going to go to the effects and presets, type in bend. And here we got the CC bend it and drag and drop to the line pattern. Okay, so now I'm going to bend here this 250 to maximum basically. And I'm going to need to adjust the start and the end. So the main idea is to make this combine more, more like. So it's going to work something like this. So this is going to be like 2010. And you can adjust, you know, this one. And with this, you can connect. I'm going to work with the end also, see what's going on. So with the end, I'm going to make it like more dense. I'm going to go something like this because if I decrease more, as you can see, it's going out of the frame, go some around here. Okay. It looks something like this. And from here, I'm going to click on the region of interest, click on it, and I'm going to crop it and go to the composition and I click on crop comp to region of interest. Hit play and there you go. And also if you want to add some special effects, you can go back to the lines, select them all, right click, go to pre comp, I'm going to type in lines and I'm going to go here and type into the effects wave. And we got here the wave warp, drag and drop to the lines. And we got some new waves going on here, as you can see. So we got the wave height and wave width. So I'm gonna increase the height. I'm gonna add, increase the width. As you can see, if I go back to the donut, it's gonna mess it up, but you still can correct it. The more you correct this one, the better it's gonna look. As you can see, it starts to cut off this side because the waves are kind of big. So if I wanna fix this, I'm gonna double click on the lines. I'm going to actually decrease the stroke. I'm going to position these a little bit up, go back to the lines. And now it got fixed donuts. I'm going to go to the line pattern and rearrange it. And if I'm going to work it here, 
make it look more perfect hit play and it looks wild so yeah this was it thanks so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye